girl just got back from the gym. Lesson to learn that there's growth happening in these trials. What'd you say? Uh, huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. How do you do? God given vision to connect, to fill the city with Jesus. And we do that. up you guys welcome back to another video welcome to another vlog it is wednesday october 16th and your girl just got back from the gym and i feel so good what are you what are you doing mm -mm. don't go in there yes so i feel so good that workout was really good i felt it in my glutes i felt it in my in my quads and my hamstrings like it was it was a good workout like i really feel like I really need to like stop messing about, stop playing, and be consistent in the gym. It's been a while. It's probably been a few months since I went back in the gym. I stopped by Walmart real quick to pick up some necessities really quick. Bread and milk, you know. But then I saw that they had um, these chicken soup dumplings. I should have got the pork, honestly. But I saw these and I said, oh, bet I need this in my life. And then I also picked up some pork hot stickers. I have been craving these dumplings for a while now. So I'm glad I got that and I got these. I probably shouldn't have these yet, but I kind of want to eat them. sandwich wrap mm -mm. still have like half my shake in here it's just so much i can't drink it in one go so um i'm about to finish up my shake and um i put almond extract vanilla extract cinnamon in there and I actually it's bearable like i can actually drink it because i really don't like the taste of um shakes i don't like protein powder it's like it's kind of gross but yeah i'm still feeling a little hungry i feel like i could snack on something um i could snack on a fruit but you already know what i'm about to snack on mm -hmm. i'm gonna snack on these okay so um this let me open it up 
That's what they look like. Oops. But these look exactly. But this says to cut one corner of the outer wrapper to allow steam to vent. Place tray in microwave and cook for um, a minute and 45 seconds to two minutes. Allow cool slightly and then carefully remove from the wrapper to enjoy. Two minutes. So I do soy sauce. I do the um, less sodium soy sauce. I do um, the spicy chili crisp. Yeah. And I also do um, Thai sweet chili sauce. So normally people put like the chili crisp and the soy sauce on their dumplings, but I figured this little like, ooh, this little extra sweetness, it just does something to it. Like I love eating it with like the pot stickers. It's fire. the ginger so i'm gonna do just outside i'm gonna do some soy sauce boom, boom. yeah maybe i should mix it first i should probably mix it in something first and then put it over and then we're gonna do our chili crisp dang i'm almost out of this i never thought i could finish it and then I'm gonna put this all over. Boom and boom. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so they say to be careful. You have the bite on the side. The soup. Mm. Mm. That is really good. I'm honestly just gonna eat three and then eat the rest later. <laughs> Try the rest later. Mm. I honestly wanted to save some for my husband, but, but I really don't think he's into stuff like this. Like, he prefers his dumplings like fried. <laughs> crispy and he might not like it with all the sauce over it because it's not really a he doesn't like when things are drenched in sauce one thing i would say though is that there's not much soup in it so i'm gonna actually finish up my shake and then i'm gonna drink this whole thing with water i got this this thing from um the hospital when i gave birth to my daughter this is amazing it's like 32 ounces um yeah i think it's like 30 yeah 32 ounces um so i'm gonna try to drink this because all the the sodium the msg that's in here um make sure that i drink up my water looks like baby girl is up so um she wants to for an hour and a half i feel like she know better than that I'll just um go get her and um i'm gonna check in with you all later good morning everyone where is my hair tie i just took it out it's gone and it is the next day and your girl is heading to the gym again can we believe it no okay though i'm actually doing upper body so that's what i'm going to be doing in the gym today Normally, I'm not doing upper body <laughs> at all. Only time that I actually did upper body was when I was when I was um, working out with the trainer, and of course, she will always have upper body days. And I would say, you know, my back was looking nice. You know, my my triceps, my biceps, things were looking real nice and toned. So we need to get back into. We really truly need to get back into um, upper body. So that's what we're doing today. We're just gonna do the basic stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. Your girl is weak. I'm telling y'all, I'm weak. So, 
Uh, what am I? Oh, I'm trying to turn on my uh, like home security system, and I just got distracted by. Um, I got distracted by a text message about my hair appointment. So I have a hair appointment on Saturday at 10:30 a.m. I am back from the gym. I need to figure out what to get this little girl to eat. Cause if I'm being honest, I feel like she's been kind of picky lately, or she's just not eating the things that she normally would eat. So it's just like, okay, well, well what are you gonna eat now? <laughs> What now? So, but yeah, that was a pretty good upper body workout, I would say. So, I don't know. It might seem pretty silly right now to be doing upper body workouts, um, but it'll be fine. It's gonna work out. So, um, I'm going to spend pretty much the rest of this evening. Um, I've got some things that I want to. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I want to get into some worship. I want to get into read some word, and I also need to cook dinner for tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry to feel low energy. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today is Saturday. Um, I did not record anything yesterday because it was pretty much a heads down kind of day where I just need to get some things done and um I really didn't want to that part okay <laughs> I didn't really want to you know pick up a camera yesterday because you have to get some things done um but yeah so today is Saturday and I am at the hair salon like to get my hair done I'm getting my hair done I am here to get a silk press and a cut. Um, hopefully, hopefully I get a silk press because the way my head is looking under this hat and just the state of my hair right now, it's, I don't know. I hope it's not one of them situations where the hairstylist is like, I'm gonna give you what's best for your hair. And I'm like, girl, no, <laughs> give me a, a silk press. So I want a silk press, but We'll see. Um, my appointment's at 9.30. It's 9.15 now. So I'm about to just chill in the car until like 9.25. And then I'm going to head in. Um, head in. I just wanted to come on here too because I had been thinking about some stuff. <laughs> and so I was thinking about, um, you know, as Christians, we are not exempt from trials. We are not um, exempt from the struggles of life. We're not exempt from, you know, going through things, uncertainties and circumstances. We are not exempt. And um, I feel like a lot of times certain people or people may have this idea that, okay, yeah, once I become a Christian or Christianity means, you know, I'm, I don't have to face issues. I don't have to face struggles. I don't have to face anything. Like, God is not this big genie in the sky that will... You can wish away all your problems, all your situa all your circumstances, all the trials in life. Like, that's just not how it works. Living in this world, there's always going to be situations. There's always going to be circumstances. There's always going to be some kind of trial for you to go through. There's always going to be a testing of your faith. Um, we're not exempt from that. Just because we follow God, just because we're Christians, does not mean that we're not going to go through things. In the Bible, we see Christians went through a lot of stuff. And uh, Jesus went through <laughs> just for what Jesus, just for what Jesus did on the cross. Like Jesus went through a lot. Okay, and so we can't think that we are not going to face trials. And yeah, the Bible says to count it all joy when you're faced with trials. Um, that, you know, the testing of your faith builds patience and count it all joy is not, oh, I'm faced with this child. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burp. Eh, eh, eh. No, faith is not like, hooray. I have trials. It is just a reminder to keep the faith. It is a reminder like, yes, I'm going through these trials, but there is something greater that is coming out of my trials that there is a lesson to learn that there's growth happening in these trials if I pay attention to what God is saying if I pay attention and keep my eyes on God it's going to cause me to grow 
in God, in, 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 you know, as a, as a person. So we are not exempt from, um, from, from, uh, trials we're not exempt from that and the bible says too that if you're lack if you lack wisdom that you should ask god because he gives it liberally and without reproach so when we are going through trials and situation we need to ask god wisdom and how to deal with this situation how to deal with this trial how do i go about this what do i need to know how you know things like that so i say all that to say <laughs> that yeah, it's 920. But I say that all to say that we are not exempt from trials. We're not exempt. It builds us. It, it builds perseverance. It builds endurance. It builds us. And it makes its, its growth. We, the Lord was to rescue us for every, from every situation, from every trial, from every um, thing that was going to happen bad in our lives. We would not learn a thing. We wouldn't learn anything. We wouldn't learn about how God rescues and how God saves and all that stuff. We would not learn anything in this life. There will be no growth. And what is that? What kind of life is that? When you're living life and there's no growth in you. It just, it doesn't make any sense. So be encouraged that if you're faced with trials, if you're faced with things, uncertainties and troubles and, you know, go to God. Like, go to the Lord. Okay? Lean into Him. That is when you need to be praying even more. That's when you need to be in your word even more. That's when you need to abide in him even more. That's when you need to draw closer to him even more. Because through your trials, through your situations, through your circumstances, through your troubles, there is something to learn. There is growth in that. That builds your faith in God. And it shows how God can rescue you, how he delivers you. And then when you go through that situation and God does deliver you and God does help you through it, and you learn something, you're able to testify to someone who is going through the situation, have gone through the situation, and they need a word. Be encouraged um, today. I'm about to go into this um, hair salon <laughs> so I can get my hair done. I will check in with y'all later. We'll see how my hair is going to be looking. I'm not going to show you what it looks like under this, but yes, I will see you guys. Um, I'm going to check in with y'all later. Hello, you guys. I'm back. Can you see my hair? Yeah. Yeah. She's short again. Well, I was always short, but she is a back and at it. Yeah. Yeah. What? What, what you said? Ah. Uh, okay. Huh? Huh? Mm hmm How you doing? How you, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> my hair. She was trying to lay my hair, but it was like kind of like puffing up a little bit. But yes, uh, so I gotta think about what I want to eat if I want to eat. Um, if I want to eat here or if I want to go home and eat, um, there is food at home, so I probably don't need to do that. So my husband took our daughter to the park and he just texts me and he's like, this little girl is shaking her head and know when I'm calling her or if I'm asking her if she wants something. And then he was like, she nods in agreement if she, and then nods when she is in agreement for something. I'm like, every day, it's like this girl's personality is starting to really show more and it's just so it's so funny to me like it's just so it's so adorable to me because it's like just watching your child like develop and do these new things it's just so funny daughter was watching uh like bluey or miss rachel like one of those things and my husband was like messing with her so he's like putting his foot on her and like all that stuff she turns around to him pushes his foot off of her and says and then turns right back around to watch continue watching her show and i'm just like we were so shocked <laughs> we were just so shocked and i'm like this girl really looked at her dad and said stop putting your foot on me and he kept doing it of course and just seeing her reaction to him doing it like sometimes she would laugh but every time she would, like push his foot, at one point she looked at me and said, and I'm like, this little girl really said, 
if you keep putting your foot on me, we're going to have a problem. And then she turned to me and she said, Ma, you don't see him putting his foot on me? Can you tell him to stop, please? Basically, right? Like, that's what it translated to, <laughs> translated to, to me. So that was, we had a laugh with that. That was so funny. Oh my gosh, just watching her grow. It's just, ugh. I just can't. She just cracks me up. Y'all, I'm, I'm a terrible vlogger. I got home and it's been hours since I've been home and I have that picture of the camera. <laughs> my curls dropped a little bit, but it's still holding up. But yeah, it is. What time is it? It is 5.09. I got home around two-ish, two-ish, yeah. And yeah, so I made dinner and everything. I made some steak and potatoes. <laughs> um, baby's gonna have, she's gonna try to eat potatoes too. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be checking in with y'all um, tonight because all we're really going to be doing is probably um, you know, closing out for the day. I don't know. I was supposed to do baby girl's hair, but I'm not sure if there's going to be much time. It's 5.11 already and her bedtime is 7.30. And I also have to eat. So it's like, I don't know. We'll see. I might just eat dinner after she goes down for, um, her bed and try to do her hair because yeah, it's looking crazy. It's looking crazy. We're gonna even see if I'm gonna be able to do it because she doesn't like when I'm in her hair at all. So we'll see if she's even gonna let me in her hair because she doesn't necessarily like that. So um, we'll see what's going to happen. And I'm finally done with this girl's hair. She's trying to fight me out of her head. Hold on. Just did some single twists in her hair and I'm just gonna put it up in like a little, I guess ponytail or whatever. Um, it is definitely hard trying to get some kind of, you know, style in her hair because she doesn't like it. She fights to the end to get me out her hair. But I feel like this may hold up for another week or so until I wash her hair, so. That would be good. Um, yes, I'm about to eat dinner. And I must call it a night because we're about to end the day. We're about to close up shut. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't touch.
vision to connect, to fill the city with Jesus. And we do that. So it is some time later. Obviously very, it's very, very late um, right now, but um, it's 6.57. I had been editing this vlog and um, we came from came home from church and we have just been, I guess, chilling. We've just been hanging out, resting and all of that stuff. Um, it's funny because this morning um, I said to my husband that I need to um, take a page out of my sister's notebook because she cooks dinner on a Saturday for Sunday. So on Sunday, she's not behind the stove. She's not doing any work. She's not doing anything like it's her day of rest. And he was like, yeah, 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 you know we need to keep a sabbath like we need a day of rest and all that stuff and i was like yeah yeah that's so true we get to church you know praise and worship was great and all of that stuff and then the pastor comes on the stage and you know he has like this little banner you know like the green screen or the projector banner thing and it literally says in large bold letters sabbath a day of rest something something daily re reset or daily rest and i was like i don't i was like oh my god look he's literally preaching on the sabbath about resting and finding a day of rest and what it means to have a sabbath and what does that entail and i was just like well thank you lord you're speaking okay you just confirmed literally what we were just talking about this morning before we left the church so i believe the, ser the sermon was really good um and it's really something to consider. <laughs> it's really something to implement into you know your life and everything. And he also said that you have to prepare um, for the rest. So you have to prepare um, your days, prepare your night, whatever it is that you need to prepare so that you can have your day of rest. A lot of things to plan out so that my day of rest is a day of rest and not a day of, oh my gosh, uh, da, 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 da. you know, like I don't want to like burn myself out before the week is to start. So I thought that was just amazing. Thank you, Lord, for speaking. <laughs> Shout out to God. But you guys, I am actually just going to end the vlog here. Um, I have been editing this vlog. I think I mentioned that already. And I feel like I'm pretty much almost done. So uh, kind of done um we'll see we're 33 minutes in and i still got more videos to add so we're gonna see how that looks like um but yeah my hair my hair i didn't show you guys i'm gonna show you guys a before picture of what my hair was looking like but yeah my hair like my hair but thank you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a blessed week, blessed weekend. I hope you have a blessed day, a blessed Sunday. I hope you have a blessed life. Amen. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.